Hi, this is Rick with Easy Photo Scan. Wanted to take just a moment and share with you an answer to a question that we get quite frequently, and that's uh, we've scanned a lot of pictures, and our client would like to have a thumbnail overview of everything. Uh, maybe they've got thousands of pictures, and they'd like to to make it available to them on a kind of a contact sheet. Uh, a couple ways to do that: if you have the PS80 software, uh, when you go into the actual setup of your software, there is a thumbnail function. If you're using the Kodak PS50 or PS5080 software, uh, there's another way to do that. And we use the inherent capabilities of Windows to do that for us. So we'll give you a quick uh, demonstration of this. We've scanned a set of photos here. We've uh, done whatever we want to do, if we want to do perfect touch or whatever, and we go ahead and we can just go ahead and finish and finalize the job. Uh, we don't want to do any more of that. So our contact sheet job is right here. We're going to go up under here and open up the folder. Now that we've opened up the folder, it's a real simple process. We start on the first picture. We hold our shift key down and go to the last picture, and then let's go back over and mouse over to the very first picture again. When we do that, you'll right click. Now, it's kind of important that you keep over that first picture because that will make sure that it starts at that location. If you start in the middle, then it's going to start in the middle someplace and then come wrap back around. We hit the print button, and when we do, we're now presented with how to print our pictures. There's a couple of things that you'll want to notice that you, first of all, can put different sizes. There's actually a contact sheet size here, which we're going to go ahead and do, and you'll see all of our photographs are in perfect order at that point because we followed the procedure that we described. Uh, we can print to a number of different functions depending on what your software is. You can actually even print them out to your computer. We like to use the, P, uh, the PDF format, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Um, you can also change the size, and obviously the size would allow you to have uh, bigger pictures if you wanted that type of thing. So. A couple of quick notes. If you've never used this function before, you want to go to Options, and you'll probably, when it launches the first time under Print Properties, it will probably launch into the landscape format. You will want to go ahead and change that probably to Portrait. You're probably more used to using that kind of thing. There's some other advanced features here, as well as some color management features. We'll skip over those. We'll let you use, uh, per peruse that information on your own. So when we're all done, we've chosen the PDF format. We've got everything ready to go. We hit the Print button. At this point, we're going to go ahead and just select our folder that we actually have our photographs in. And this is the reason why we use the PDF, because we'll go ahead and just underscore. And I'm just going to go ahead and put um, Contact Sheet. And uh, we can actually do this for each of the uh, different folders that you have images in. And we hit Save. This will go ahead and save it. And now you'll notice I'm in my folder. And the very first thing I see is this PDF image or PDF file that lets me look at the contact sheets. When I open it up, it gives everything. It also allows me to find these images. So just imagine you have hundreds of these pictures in these uh, folders. You could find that then use your Control F function and go and find that image really quickly. So this is a real quick overview of how you can use uh, either the Kodak Picture Saver scanner software if you're using the PS80 for using a uh, thumbnail or to use the inherent capabilities of the Windows application in order to do that.